So today I just wanted to do a video. I'm gonna start like a series of like how to do different type of stuff and I'm just gonna start off with beginners. So today is just gonna be how to do a four roll for beginners. So I hope you guys enjoy it and please thumbs up and just please let me know if you like the series that I'm starting. Um, I don't have a specific um, day that I post up videos. Um, I know a long, not too long ago, but I did mention that I would be posting a gymnastic video every week. Um, and I know when I did the 30 second gymnastic challenge, I apologize because I haven't lately been doing that. But I'll try, but I cannot promise because I've been really busy with school and stuff. So, yeah, but I just wanted to give you a heads up on that. And I just wanted to just start this beginner series. I will try maybe one once a week or once every other week. But I'm just really trying. So, yeah. So let me know if you like this. And let's just begin with the video. So the first thing is your posture. So when you begin a forward roll, you start with your arms up by your ears. So your arms should always be by your ears. You should probably be kissing your ears or touching your ears. That's how my coach used to tell me. Um, so that's how you start. And where you go, you bend down and you put your hands on the floor. You need to make sure you tuck your head in because you could easily get injured in your neck or your head. So your head needs to be tucked in. Don't keep it out. you got to keep it in. Your chin has to stay here. And your chin has to just stay in and keep tucked in while you roll. So these are the first two steps. So you're standing. You come and you tuck. Your head should be tucked in and you put your arms here. Your legs should be bent and you should be in this position getting ready to roll. So the next step is after you have had your hands up and you tuck your chin in, you want to make sure it's very important that your head is tucked in. And you want to go into your roll. Um, yeah, so you want to go into your roll. And that is what the roll looks like. Um, but you need to make sure that the, not your top of your head, but maybe top, maybe your back, like over in this area, should be onto the ground, not the top of your head, not the back of your head, not your, completely your neck, but maybe a little bit down. Let me stay here, go here, go here. Um, yeah, so you want your back to touch it, the ground but not your head because that could be very really dangerous and you could seriously injure your head. Okay, so the next step is when you're coming out of your roll, so after you accomplish this part, so you want to figure out how to get up in this position because you're stuck doing this. And you cannot get up. The best thing to do for first, you always want to stay in a ball. You need to stay curled up and stay in this position. Your legs should always be bent and you just want to stay nice and curled up and your head tucked in. And you want just a very nice tight ball. So I'll show you. And also when you come up, you don't want to, you don't want to, so you roll and you just get stuck in this position. Well, if you roll, you should at least get stuck in this position. Not like this. Because when you roll, you want to grab your shins. You see, you want to grab them. You want to grab your legs, grab your shins. So my coach always told me just, just to grab your shins when you come up. So this is what the skill looks like. Your arms by your ears. Bend down, head. Tuck in your head. Go down. Grab your shins and you come up. Now, if you got all that down, but you're stuck in this position and you can't get up without putting your hands on the floor, you just really need to practice going like this and getting up from that. So you just really want to practice how to do that. 
So, yeah, and I, um, so you just really want to really, really practice that. Just make sure you grab your shins and you come up in from a ball and you just tightly come up. So, I'll show you one last time. Step by step. Arms by your ears. Come down. Tuck in your head. More you grab your shins and then you would come up. So since I'm a little bit too far from the camera, I'm going to scoot back so you can see what the final, final, final skin looks like. And you want to finish off clean. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you get down your four girl. And I hope you enjoy the series that I'm going to be doing. I hope it's very helpful. And I will see you guys later. Bye.